you ahead. Um, well, I was just sitting, uh, sitting fast. Probably got ahead in the count. So, um, yeah, I was just looking for one pitch. Um, guy I was facing with mine, uh, I was really liking to get to his off-speed stuff, knowing that his heater was just getting hit by us. So I was able to see two of them out of the zone, get to a good count, and got a good one to hit. So. You know, for you specifically, it seems like it's a different batting stance for you, a lot more upright and a different approach uh, at the plate. Can you just talk about that kind of change throughout the year? Uh, well, I was, I always been comfortable, like, more upright. And this year I just decided to go with, like, how I'm comfortable in the box. So, I mean, I feel comfortable. And, yeah. Cole kind of got thrown into the fire going for the save on your mm -hmm. first collegiate game. What was that like? It was incredible. It was a lot of fun. I'm just happy, happy I got out there to get the job done for the guys. As you seem to be a lot more comfortable just kind of at the plate in the box. What are, what are some things that kind of contribute to that and how, what are some things you're doing differently? Um, it's just a lot of confidence, man. I just trust in uh, the work I put in off the field and, you know, uh, just kind of hammering the consistency again in the off season because that's something I struggled with last year is a lot of up and downs. So just that confidence bringing in every game is just something really big for me. Does that confidence come from just the off the work you put in, or is it like a different mental game for you in general? I think, yeah, it's a little bit of that, and it's kind of having a, a presence of, like, that guy's got to come at me still, like, and I I have um, every right to go get a ball, so 100%. Cole, I feel like every person I talk to, you're always a fan favorite, they say, at the clubhouse. So have you always had that presence ever since you were even younger in a clubhouse? Just kind of describe that. Um, I mean, I just like hanging around, hanging out around the guys and just being being with the team. It's just fun to mess around and joke, and then also work hard and try to win every game. And just yeah. Do you think that energy that you bring kind of hypes the guys up? I mean, today was a perfect example. You could see the entire you know dugout was going crazy when you were running up to the ball. Um, yeah, I think a little bit. I guess as I guess how I've come out to be like energy guy, but I like it, and it's just a lot of fun. How would you describe yourself in your pitching style? Um, I don't, I mean, just like aggressive, um, uh, just, yeah, just aggressive, and I try to do whatever I can to get that hitter out, so don't want to let him beat me. Uh, Coach Bloomquist said you have a lot of variety of different tools that some of the pitchers, other pitchers may not have. Uh, what would you say has allowed you to be Um, mainly like in the fall, just be able to throw uh, three pitches for strikes and just be able to move my fastball around instead of just kind of like trying to get over the plate, working in and out, in and out to hitters. Dude, there were some errors in the infield today, just kind of across the whole game. What would you kind of make of that? How do you feel like that kind of be a contributing factor going forward to stop that? Um, you know, we just need to uh, handle the baseball. You know, I, I made a couple throwing errors, so. I mean, I just got to be better. Um, I just need to stay on my feet more and just handle the baseball better. Is there anything new the arms you faced this week in the prison with Jim? What's been, what's allowed this entire lineup to you know, hit him so, so well consistently? Um, I think it's just our game plan every time. You know, we do a little bit of video before the game and just understanding what the pitcher's got and what he likes to go to. And it's having a plan and a certain dominance of just not letting that guy get a ball over the plate that we won't hammer. And then just gets him on his heels a little bit, and he's got to get go to stuff that he gets uncomfortable with, and then we're able to attack and get ahead. Cool. Is this a role you kind of see yourself fitting into coming in and one, two run games, coming in, getting three outs? Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever the team needs me to do, I'm ready to do it. So if that's what I got to do, then that's what I got to do. Cool. I'm told you're a pretty good rapper. <laughs> um, I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so an up and down game, lots of momentum shifts. So what does that say just about your identity, your ability to kind of outgrit Santa Clara at the end? Um, I think we just know that we're a really good offensive team, and our pitchers understand that. So they're just going to go in there and pound the zone, and understand if they give up a couple runs, oh well, we can go get them back, you know. So it's probably a good uh, help for them. And then offensively, we just play behind our pitchers, and when we get up on the abs, we're able to go put some runs up and do well together. You have a confidence level in your pitchers, Cole, and everybody else said this 13 runs was something that's not going to see again. 100%. When I saw him up in the bullpen, I mean, I knew we were going to, you know, to do all right. Because when he comes out, he just brings this energy that everybody else kind of builds off of. And, like, when he gets that first ball in the zone, everybody's super hyped. And that last out was pretty, pretty pumped. Cole, you, 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 you take us through pregame routine, you know, in-game routine, get ready in the bullpen, ready to come in for a 
players are, are coming you know, out of bullpen? Uh, yeah, I just I do my regular like pre throw and warm up before I play catch before the game, and then uh, just uh, I'm really trying to focus just on my breath and not speeding myself up and just like staying in the moment and making sure that I'm focused and ready to attack each hitter. Well, there were some kind of struggles with the bullpen, kind of starting pitching as well today. What do you, as a group, what do you guys kind of make of that, and how do you feel like you can avoid that going forward? Um, I think I uh, we. You know, we made made some good pitches and some guys just got hit, but uh, overall I think we did a good job throwing strikes and just attacking the zone and our hitters got us. So. Do you feel like it was more so center players just kind of taking advantage of balls that were hittable rather than mis mislocation or getting missed spots in the zone? Uh, yeah, like, I'm not entirely sure like what the most of the plan was for like the other guys, but yeah, definitely Santa Clara was, did better today. Um, I think just getting ahead, it wasn't necessarily like pitch for pitch, like what kind of pitch they were throwing. It was just when they were ahead in the count, kind of the pitchers uh, or the hitters were on their heels, and you know they were able to um, work the at bat and take control of the at bat. So I think it was just definitely just working ahead, and that's what brought success for them. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I think they're doing great. As long as it's tough to win in college baseball, you know, if, even if they give up a lot of runs, like so what? But I just think just that working ahead and just being uh, in control of the at bat is really important. Well, I'm not trying to push you too much on this rapid thing, but any favorite artists you like to listen to? <laughs> um, actually, mostly just like I mostly listen to country music. I just like <laughs> I just freestyle for fun, so. The baby yeah. towel. Oh, uh, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I just mess around in the dorms, and uh, I guess it's all there. So. Yeah. Isaiah, what do you make of your your spot in the lineup when you look at you know the lefty bats who can't be in Toby and a guy like Kevin who just seems to hit a single every time he gets up, and then you got you and the Brandon follows you up. I mean, it's just our lineup's perfect. I mean, we got guys that get on base, guys that get extra base hits, and guys that get runners in. You know, um, I'm. Blessed to have guys in front of me that are able to get on base because I feel my game is uh, the extra base hit or just maybe Pokemon over too, just getting those uh, RBIs in. So, 100%. He mentioned the errors earlier. What happened on that one ball in center field that looked like it kind of came off your, yeah. your wrist or something? What happened there? Um, I just thought, you know, if I'm diving there, the uh, guy at the play that hit it is a pretty good runner. And if I miss it, then he's 100% probably going to go around the bases. So, I kind of thought last second. Um, just keep that ball in front of me and probably not go die for it. So I kind of just slid and just tried to block it, keep him off second. So. Did a year of playing games like this where you had to score 14, 15 runs to win it, did that kind of, you know, make things a little bit easier today? I mean, yeah, we just, um, just a lot of confidence in our offense. I mean, we've got a lot of the same guys as last year and added some new guys with some more depth with the bats. So I think we were just definitely confident that we're just going to go out and rake. Just knowing that their staff isn't good enough to come at us and shut us down. Do you have the same question you just asked? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I really like our lineup. We have um, we have guys one through nine that can that can get it done. So, you know, coming to that spot where we're down one run, um, no one no one had any doubt. You know, we we have full confidence in one through nine, all of our batters, even even pinch hitting like Kim Vu came in, you know, got a base hit. So I mean, we're our depth is uh, our strong point. Cool, I assume that gives the pitching staff more confidence too, knowing that the lineup can come up and, and put up four or five runs just like that. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I knew when we got we had two runners on and Zay was coming on, I knew a big inning was about to happen. So, uh, yeah, I just you know the games, how big the deficit is, it, it doesn't matter with this lineup.